Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So I'm st um, starting off with a general energy read and I'm going to be using the success cards over here. And this is about, um, the first card is the no goal card. So this is about, uh, you know, having to rethink your goals. Uh, right now you're a little bit up in the air over there. You're not quite sure what you want to do. So you, you can see these two swords are crossed or these two knives are crossed. So this is about trying to make a decision about where you want to go to in, in life. You're trying to uh, to really make, uh, you know, maybe you're trying to change your path in life because you're going around and around in circles over here. Uh, it seems like, you know, you have lost focus a little bit over there. Maybe whatever you wanted to do has now changed. You know, you have changed as a person and your goals have changed as a person and maybe what you wanted previously is not what you want right now. And it seems, you know, you feel like you might be going around in circles and, and really, you know... Uh, being a bit aimless at the moment. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. It looks like you're dealing with a very toxic situation. Somebody's giving you a lot of hassles. Uh, you can see this man's back is bloodied over here. So, and you know, being beaten up. So maybe somebody has been, um, you know, stressing you out. Uh, you know, uh, bullying you, manipulating you, and making you, you know, do things or work very, very hard, and criticizing everything that you do at the moment. And, you know, you're having to deal with this particular toxic energy right now. So in the past, it seems like, you know, something may have happened. You may have, this is the mistake. So maybe doing something that you didn't really mean to do. And, uh, you know, it's it was possibly a mistake that happened and you know maybe this was uh you know something that didn't mean to happen maybe this is person is uh, still holding you accountable for that or still having a go at you for that uh, you know something that you've done previously and they're still holding it over your head there seems to be a lot of uh drama going on with you over here and it also says the aim of life so uh you know you have been uh you know uh, a bit aimless there so something has caused whatever the situation was it seems to have uh, you have seemed to have lost confidence in yourself over there uh and you know you you're you're also beating yourself up about it uh but there's a lot of emotional turmoil going on over there so you do do need to take a step back and refocus uh you can see that even with this particular card there is a need for you to focus your energy and come up with a new plan and focus it on your work over there uh, so it's a number one. You do need to make some kind of brand new start, get a new goal in life over there. Uh, it might actually, so their goal in life over here. So it's almost like these cards are, you know, one after the other. You need to come up with a plan. You need to look at things. You need to focus, look at the, the things that are important to you and, and go through all the goals uh, that you want out of life, what you're looking for, what your purpose is. This is very, very important because you're going around feeling very, very aimless, feeling as though you're going around in circles so the ultimate goal in your life is to find a goal uh, you know look for the thing that makes you happy and do that and that is very very important and don't allow anybody to walk all over you or take your confidence away because this person seems to have disempowered you quite a bit uh, which has left you feeling a bit aimless there so those are the energies for that those two weeks so sit down and have a good think and uh, you know look within yourself to find out what it is that will make you happy and give you satisfaction in life. So I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, Black Cat Tarot for the main read. So the first card is the Knight of Swords. So it looks like you might be dealing with a very difficult person over here. There could be some legal decision or pending or some kind of uh, official decision that is coming in. The Knight of Swords is a really nasty person because they tend to say nasty things. They're, being, they're very sarcastic. Um, you know, they could say things that could stir up a whole lot of problems. And they generally say it to hurt. Uh, so they say it and they walk away. And this could be what is going on with you. This particular person is causing a lot of problems for you. And, you know, it's a person that you're in conflict with. You're having to defend yourself in this particular situation. But this person generally says things and then they move on. And then they don't care whether or not you were hurt by whatever they've said. So that is the energy that you might well be dealing with at this particular moment. So you are standing up for yourself over there. there. This is the king of swords over here. So this might be, you know, if this is not a person that you're dealing with, 
<coughs> this could be some kind of legal news coming in over here and you're waiting for it over here. The King of Swords might be a legal decision that is going to be made. So there's some kind of official thing that is coming through for you and maybe you are waiting for that decision to come in. The King of Swords is the um, ruled by Archangel Michael and this is about a judgment or decision that is pending. So it is a big problem for you. The, the, this is the strength card and this is the card ruled by Leo. You are trying to sort things out. There is light at the end of the tunnel and there are obstacles in your path. But, you know, you, you, know, you need to use, um, you know, some smooth talking really. Uh, you know, talk your way out of the situation. Uh, don't allow yourself to get upset and don't allow people to get under your skin. It looks like, you know, you'll be able to calm the beast, if you like. So you'll be able to get control over the situation. You just have to stand up and speak your truth uh, and do it with charm. Uh, and this will allow your pathway to open. You know, you'll be able to get to, to move the lion out of the path and get to the end of that tunnel. So you are going through a very dark period in your life right now. It seems like, to, you know, you're very lonely. You're dealing with a lot of problems. But, you know, you'll be able to get through it. You'll be able to sort through it. And it seems like you might be facing some kind of legal decision or some kind of official decision. And you are waiting for that news to come in. Right now, you're feeling very, very trapped in this particular situation and very stressed out because the card below it is the Nine of Swords. So this is a lot of anxiety, doing a lot of self-reflection. You can see this person looking in the mirror, but, you know, not being able to get out of that situation over there. So it looks like there's some kind of legal news that you are waiting for as well. Now, it seems like you had a, a difficult situation in the past. You were dealing with a lot of deception and, and problems. It looks like you, you left that situation and moved on to something else. So there was some kind of problem that you dealt with in the past and you moved on. You changed jobs. Uh, recently, it's, uh, you know, the, you've got the Two of Pentacles, so you're trying to make a choice, make a decision about what to do. Something's missing, you've got this cat's eyes completely closed, you are having problems with finances as well, and you've got a lot of options that you are considering, uh, you know, you know, trying to change your career path, it seems. Um, you know, you are, you're just managing to hang in there, you're not quite sure what to do, so this cat is balancing on this unicycle over here in a very, you know, precarious uh, situation. He could roll down any of the hills over there, um, you know, or could fall. So, you know, you are, it's a very important decision that you're trying to make, uh, but all the facts are not being revealed yet. And, you know, you, you are a bit stumped about what to do. So maybe you're trying to choose uh, a, new, a new job or trying to move on because you see weighing also those options of those uh, jobs. Um, you also might be doing, you know, being very busy at the moment, multitasking, you know, working very, very hard at the moment. Uh, but it looks like you're facing some kind of big decision and that's coming up. And there's a lot of problems, uh, a lot of drama that you're dealing with at the moment. Now you could be working with a group of people over there. Uh, you know, it seems like you'll get along. You're working in some kind of team. There is a, a little bit of drama that goes on within that team as well. But everybody seems to be supportive of each other at the end of the day. Maybe if you're working alone, you do want to work in a team as well. So this is playing on your mind. This is what's on your mind. Now, going into the future, it looks like you're going to leave this job and move on. Uh, you've learned uh, a lot of skills from it. Maybe, you know, this problem or whatever, the decision that comes through makes you decide that you, um, you know, you're calling it uh, a day and you're moving on from this particular job. Uh, you know, you've transformed, you've changed whatever's gone on. You, you're getting rid of all that negativity. You can see this cat stuffing away the, this black cat skin and emerging out of it. So it looks like you want to get rid of all this negativity, complete the cycle and move on. So uh, there might be a job change over there. And this might be brought around, being brought about by, you know, this legal action that has been ha happening or whatever this official decision is. Maybe the problem is too great and you have, you are just, uh, you know, you can't be bothered to actually deal with it anymore. So there's a big choice coming up for you over here. You've got the lover's card over here, big life-changing decision. And this is about going for the thing that you love. Make sure that you're doing a lot of research and know exactly where you're going to before you make it, uh, make that change. So this is a change in career path. There's options available for you. You know, one of them, you can see there's a lot of prosperity along the path over there, a lot of money. Um, one is, you know, taking a, the road less traveled almost, you know, going off on your own. So you're making some kind of big decision. Somebody is there to help you make that decision as well. So you're getting some kind of new advice. It looks like there's a pathway is opening and a door is opening there for you as well. So some opportunity coming in for you. You are being given a helping hand. So this could be in the form of maybe you needing to get a loan or getting, getting some financial assistance. 
but this could be also in the form of some um, advice, some constructive advice coming in for you over there. Certainly somebody giving you a hand out of that problem that you're in. So this cat is in the ditch there and somebody helping them out, trying to get them out of that situation. So somebody is going to be there to help you get through this particular situation and offer you that support you need. Right now you've got that eight of swords over there feeling very, very stuck. Uh, you know, can't move at the moment and being worried about that you're going to be stuck in this position for a long time. So you can see there's a lot of spiders on, on this, uh, you know, this door. So even though you want opportunities, you're worried that you're not going to be able to get opportunities coming your way uh, with that Eight of Swords. So expecting the worst case scenario and being very anxious about it, really. So going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the Devil card over there, the Queen of Cups there, and you've got the... Uh, um, page of uh, cups. So the devil card is feeling very, very, uh, you know, um, isolated from everybody, feeling very victimized from everybody and being uh, manipulated or bullied by people. It seems like people have, uh, you are in the midst of some drama there. And people are just standing back and watching. And, you know, uh, this is a very toxic situation you're dealing with. Nobody seems to be supporting you. You know, everything is its like you're in the heat or the center of the heat of, the, of whatever is going on. So the middle of all the drama, it seems to be focused on you. So the devil card is about people manipulating you. Uh, you being controlled by everybody else. And, you know, everybody's standing back and watching you take the fall for the situation. So being in a very, very nasty situation, a, a lot of conflict seems to be going on around you. It seems like something is, you know, things are going to settle down, though. You know, you, it looks like you are going to be moving on. And once you move on, you've got the Queen of Cups over there, that new offer coming in. But it's in a job that has got uh, a lot more authority. Uh, you might be even doing some further studying. Uh, there might be an offer coming in for some further study. You certainly are going to hear some news of, of that offer coming in. Uh, uh, whatever it is, you're going to be doing a lot of paperwork or working, uh, you know, late hours, uh, doing further study, research. Um, maybe even, uh, you know, maybe even doing some, tr some travel. So news will be coming in for you. That offer is coming in for you. And it's going to be a much more stable job and it's going to make you a lot more happier. But it also means that you're going to be working a, a lot harder and doing a lot of mental work as well. So try not to let the situation get under your skin. Queen of Cups tends to be a little bit depressed. Try not to let that get you down. Uh, some good news will be coming in over here about this offer, and it looks like it's going to take you into a much more stable position. So this could be, you know, it could be just moving on. It could be, you know, uh, changing jobs, or it could be even, uh, even getting a promotion into something different. But with the uh, world card, it looks like you're ending that situation completely, leaving it behind and walking away from it. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot. And there you go. You've got the sun card over here. So plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas uh, that lead to rewards and commend, uh, commendations. Now you've got this uh, angel, um, or this fairy rather, uh, leaping over this wall. So you are going to be able to over overcome obstacles. The hard work that you've put into it is going to be uh, payoff, and then success comes in with that particular card. That's the sun card that is your card. So, you know, it looks like there is success that will come in. You will get out of the situation. You will be able to overcome these obstacles and barriers. And the first card is the strength card of there, so you are going to be able to overcome uh, these problems. Just have the courage and just believe in yourself. You've got the king of winter again over here. So this is the king of swords, so get advice from somebody professional. An objective, public speaking, uh, unemotional um, relationships. So you've got the King of Swords twice over there. There's some kind of legal decision, some kind of official decision coming in for you over there with that King of Winter. And the final card is, you know, whatever this official decision is, uh, a resolution of the difficulties. It leads to the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulder, and the end of addiction or codependency. So the king, Ten of uh, Winter is an end of that situation. After this uh, decision comes in, it's the end of the difficulties. It looks like you leave things and you move on. With the Ten of Winter, it's just really cutting your losses and moving on to something better and something different. So you're waiting for that decision. It looks like it will come in, but it's going to mean that you uh, are able to move out of the situation and that stress and that anxiety come to an end once that decision is made. And it looks like you know, something good is coming in for you. There is that good offer coming in with that page of cups, and it's going to be in something that you where you're teaching or something that you're learning um, and you know somebody helping you giving you a helping hand along the way so i hope this reading has resonated um, please don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you for watching take care now goodbye